Hello everyone, it's your boy AZ and ZC with another Illuminum video today. Today I'm going to talk about um, substats that you should roll on gears. Uh, first of all, I'm going to use Caroline as my baseline. As you can see right there, that's all the base stats. Uh, so right now, she doesn't have any gear. So we're going to go over some of the um, substats that you can roll on gears so like this one a uh, great spirit bow as you can see on plus three you have uh, physical defense plus 129 magic defense 109 nature resist nature resist pretty bad roll um, once you equip it on to um, Caroline these stats are really bad uh, the reason why you don't want have to you don't want to roll any kind of physical defense or magic defense is because for Weiwei uh, she's a support and as you can see let's go to Weiwei where is she if she was a level if she was a six star maxed she does 0.2 max HP and at max level it's level 60 she have 22,000 22,000 HP so time point two that's about 4,400 physical defense and magic defense so why would you want to roll a why would you want to roll a gear that actually have physical defense and magical defense so those stats are really bad um, same with all the resistance I think as you can see my base resistance of 40 on nature resistant on the base picture as you can see that is 3.51 so if I equip this weapon click on it And as you can see, 280. 280. So now let's check our info. So my nature resist went up to 22.54. That looks pretty decent. But I assure you, it isn't as great as everyone thinks. Alright, next we're going to talk about... Uh, where's that gear at? Mm, this one right here. So we have crit power and evasion. Evasion is pretty, in my opinion, pretty bad. Uh, since attack and because when you, when you're stunned, you can't really invade. So I wouldn't recommend getting evasion. Same with spell resist spell resist 60 percent on base you get 5.17 uh with this you should get let's equip it and then i think the best one would be uh flat attack because flat attack as you can see 216 this is almost a fourth of what this um offhand is given so that's pretty useful and as you can see 79 crit power the base crit power of 70, the base crit power already get 153, even with 79 more, you're not going to get that much more. Right here. So it became 149, it only rose by 3%. 3.34% for crit power of 79 more. So pretty abysmal increase. And as you can see, spell resist went from 60 to 202. So that went up almost 10%. 10%. But 10% compared to almost 25% gain on flat attack is pretty abysmal, if you ask me. Um, then what's the other stats that the gear also have? Well, let's only equip this. 
So let's have a evasion of 21. Evasion of 21 is right here. Evasion went from 41 to 62. So evasion went up 2%. Also pretty bad. Also pretty bad. So as you can see, um, most of the stats you really want to roll in these kind of game, of course, you want speed. Speed, basically, any kind of speed meta game, you want speed, right? And another one would be flat attack because compared to, comparison to what your gear actually gives, flat attack is actually and it scales with every kind of um, unit because even healer, debuffer, etc. scale up flat attack. Um, the only reason why I would avoid all the resistance and defense stats is because a lot of the buffers um, scales off of uh, attack and they buff a lot more significant stats compared to what the gears can give you. So to summarize, basically just row speed and flat attack. I think those are the most crucial substats to aim for. Hopefully this is, video was helpful to show you guys that. Um, hopefully it was useful. Uh, give it a thumbs up. It was share or like. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Hopefully we have more of the Alun videos. Ciao.